subscribers tag me in this post in which I'm about to talk to you about. Now, in this picture, you see none other than that tacky, classless Wendy Williams. And to the right, I'm sorry, to the left of her is a picture of Joaquin Phoenix. Now, she was doing a segment on her show talk called Hot Topics, where she just basically talks about celebrity gossip, because you know that's what she's known for. And she was talking about the Golden Globes. And it got to the point about um, Joaquin Phoenix and him winning his Golden Globe. And she was basically sitting up there talking about basically how attractive Joaquin Phoenix is and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Then she started to compliment his lips and how she compared his lip to having like a cleft in it or whatever, or a cleft lip. And basically a cleft lip is something that happens and it usually happens with babies when they're born. And you'll see, like you've probably seen the commercials and their lip kind of raises up. And it's kind of off, like it's split, and it points up, and it kind of shows the gum line um, beneath it that uh, usually will cover it from the top lip. And she basically is mocking it right here. You can see right there in that picture. I'm telling you, this. when I heard about this, I said it doesn't surprise me because anyone who will mock a person who is deceased will mock anybody living who has a disability or something that is physically there that they cannot control well the reason why i'm making this video is because she pissed off a lot of people when she did that to the point where they said she did apologize but we're not here to talk about her bs apology we know why she's apologized which is why i'm about to mention this there is this petition that went up where people said that they want her removed from television for making those comments now granted you know what she said was very in classless and very distasteful. But, you know, she has said a lot of things by a lot of people over the years. And I bet you if we were to strike up a petition to get her removed, especially for the stuff she said about, say, Bill Cosby and Chris Brown and a host of other black men over the years, it, would, it wouldn't go anywhere. This petition might actually move or make uh, tracks because we know who probably kicked it off. Because Wendy Williams, she is known to overstep her boundaries with her capital P-shaped ass. Hey, I don't have y'all ever seen that picture of her when she was on the beach and she had that two-piece bikini on it? Like, why is her bikini um, bottom so baggy? <laughs> Up there looking like one of them ants or them roaches off of Men in Black. And see, the thing is, I feel perfectly fine saying stuff about her, and I don't care what she has. This woman has been known to talk a lot of shit by people over the years. That's how she makes her bread and butter. That's how she makes her money. And people are like, well, that's how she makes her money, and it's not like you get paid to say the things. I don't care, because guess what? She probably was talking all this stuff before she got into radio. That's the stick she had to come in with before she became a, a DJ, before she went into radio, and before she got her own show. That's how... Wendy Williams is is always how she's been and always will be until the day she dies. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article and see what else comes up. Wendy Williams has apologized to the cleft community and donated to the Operation Smile and American Cleft Palate Association after more than 42,000 people signed a petition to get her fired after she used her finger to imitate someone with a cleft lip. On the Hot Topics section on January 7th, the Wendy Williams show, Williams was talking about how she found actor Joaquin Phoenix oddly attractive and liked his facial scar. When he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline fracture. He's got one of those, what do you call it, cleft lip, cleft palate? Williams said that she used her finger to pull up her upper lip to her show. I find that to be very attractive. Since the episode aired, people have blasted Williams on Twitter, including Cher. Cher says, before their teens, much of the time they are in pain, afraid, but have hope that they will look normal. The heartbreak and fear their parents go through is unbearable. If your mom saw what you did, she'd be ashamed. My mom taught me to love and help people in pain. Who are you? You should be fired. And then she posted another picture where she's showing Wendy Williams this picture right here. And she says, does an apology make up for this? Now, I will say this about Cher. That's a woman right there that knows how to clap back effectively. If she feels strongly and passionate about something, she's going to come back at your ass very, very, very hard. And she's been known to get in people's faces and do it too. 
One outraged viewer, Corey Perry, even started a petition on Change.org to get Williams removed and has so far collected more than 42,000 signatures as of Friday morning. Perry wrote he started it for his friends who have a son with a bilateral cleft lip, hard and soft palate, hard and soft palate. So this ignorant piece of work decided to mock Joaquin Phoenix and his hair lip cleft lit palette on daytime television and even went as far as pulling her upper lip with her finger she is a total disgrace kids can be cruel and as a mother of an amazing little guy who was born with a complete bilateral cleft lip hard and soft palate i am completely disgusted that she thinks it's okay to ridicule and make a joke out of something that is completely out of your control the hours spent worrying about the hard times ahead for him, all the days spent at the hospital and the numerous surgeries he had to go through, the blood, the pain, the day-to-day activities that he had to miss because of feeding tubes that he needed to be able to get liquids into his stomach instead of his lungs because of complications brought on by the hard and soft, soft clep palate called silent aspiration, his little lungs so scarred up from lung infections due to his silent aspiration. And that is, the one, that is only a few of the complications that can come with a clef, Perry wrote. What I am saying is that she is a disgusting human being, and in my opinion, if Don Cherry got fired for saying you people, then she should be banned from daytime TV, period. Wendy apologized and shared that her show will be donating to the Clef Lip and Clef Palette Nonprofit Operational Smile and American Clef Palette Association. It says, some of Williams' fan base came out and supported the talk show host and urged people to move on. It says, honestly, people, you wanted her to apologize, she's done that. You wanted her to make a charitable donation, she's done that. Let it go. If you hate her show so much, don't watch it and stay off of her social media page. No need to keep insulting her, otherwise you know better. But see, here's the thing. She only apologized because she got pushed back. If nobody came out and said anything against her, she would have went on like it never happened. It would have been another day for her. Because, like I said, she's been talking so much stuff about people over the years. It's just another day for her. And she apologized on camera or on social media. I don't know if she if she apologized on camera. But see, the thing is, she can apologize, but it, she could also not mean it. It could be a very non-genuine apology. And that donation, she'll be probably writing that off on her taxes at the end of the year. <coughs> But for some people, an apology and a little donation is all it will be if it means that they can still keep continue to support trash like that. But like I said, it's not surprising that this came out of Wendy Williams mouth, considering all the problems that she has had over the years, like her severe drug usage. Now, I bet you if anyone got on there and mocked her. She would be upset. She would probably start getting up there doing her little crackhead cry. And some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. She cries like a goddamn crackhead. Considering she used to do lines of cocaine, that doesn't surprise me. But see, Wendy Williams hasn't been hit with that, that atom bomb of karma just yet. But it's coming. Oh, it is coming. And when it comes... Y'all know what's going to happen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and have your notifications turned on. I will talk to you in the next one.